Bifidobacterium bacteria, also known as the true bacteria, are prokaryotic cells that are very common in human daily life. It can be found almost everywhere and kill hundreds of thousands of people each year, but also serves as antibiotics producers and food digesters in our stomach. Members of this kingdom are unicellular and microscopic. Their cell walls are made up of peptidoglycan, a carbohydrate, and they are unicellular. Also, eubacteria are prokaryotes, so basically they have no membrane-bound organ. They are found almost everywhere. They are often pathogenic. The eubacteria kingdom is one of the six kingdoms in which the entire living world is classified. This kingdom consists of nearly 500 species that have been discovered to date, and this number might increase in the near future as many researchers are being conducted regularly. This class of microorganisms was discovered in 1882. They are present in both living and non-living things. Few bacteria were previously under the kingdom Monera, which also included the RK bacteria. But later, due to the differences between these two taxonomies and large number of U bacteria, they were separated and a new kingdom was created. With the name U bacteria, this bacteria can be classified into three main phyla. The first phyla is the cyanobacteria phyla. This category has those bacteria which contain chlorophyll pigment. They can make their own food and are found in both land and ocean. And they lack flagella. Next is spire sheets phyla. This category has those bacteria which move in a twisting motion. They have flagella which help them move. Some of these may cause diseases. Next is proteotic bacteria phyla. This phylum consists of bacteria which can move either with the help of their flagella or by gliding. Most are anaerobic under this category. Some are helpful while others cause serious diseases. E bacteria are unicellular organisms. They can also be classified according to their shape and are found in diff three different shapes. These are the round, rod shaped, and spiral shaped. Structure of these bacteria depend upon their shape and type. The general structure of, a of an eubacteria bacteria consists of a rigid cell wall which holds all the organelles inside it. The wall is made up of amino acids and a sugar chain. Some even have a membrane outside their cell wall. Penicillin resistant eubacteria have a special component in their cell wall which reacts with it with this antibiotic and makes it ineffective. The cell wall is lined with a plasma membrane from the inner side of the wall. And in some eubacteria, bacteria, the flagella is connected with this plasma membrane. The cell is filled with cytoplasm which consists of other cell organelles like single cell chromosome and ribosome. The most important point which makes them prokaryotic is the absence of nucleus. The reproduction in most of the eubacteria is done by binary fission, but some also reproduce by budding. Eubacteria obtain energy in many different ways. One of them is autotrophs, which manufacture organic compounds. Photoautotrophs use light energy in CO2. Chemoautotrophs use inorganic substances like H2S, NH3, and other nitrogen compounds. Heterotrophs obtain energy by consuming organic compounds. Parasites get energy from living organisms. Saprobes or saprophytes which get energy from dead organic Next, material. Next, we will talk about heterotroph ingestion and digestion. Bacterial cells digest foods by releasing enzymes, which are usually poisonous, outside the cells and into their food. This is called extracellular digestion. The digested foods are then absorbed by diffusion or active transport. Next, we will also talk about oxygen preferences. Obligate aerobes must have oxygen, while obligate anaerobes cannot live in oxygen. Facultative anaerobes can grow with or without oxygen. Since we're done talking about the different shapes of bacteria, we will now talk about the classification of groupings. We can group bacteria into diplo or pairs. We can also group them into streptos, which mean chains, and we can also group them into staphylo, which mean clusters or Okay, so now we will talk about some examples of bacteria. First bacteria is Propionibacterium acnes, which means that when your oil glands swell as a result of pimples, they are infected with this kind of bacteria. Next is tuberculosis, one common disease in the Philippines which is caused by the bacterium Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Anybody can be infected through the contact with the water, soil, 
food and vegetables that are contaminated with urine of these animals. The bacteria enter the body through cuts in the skin or surfaces of the eyes or nose. It is important for you to know that the disease is preventable and treatable with antibiotics. Next example of a bacteria is Bacillus anthracis, which is responsible for the disease called anthrax. This bacterium can be found in the soil and can survive for many years. The disease affects animals like cows and carabas, but can be transmitted to humans. Skin anthrax occurs in the Philippines through contact with animal tissues or their products. Inhalation and intestinal anthrax caused by inhaling spores and eating contaminated or undercooked meat, respectively, are more deadly. It is strongly advised to refrain from eating meat of dead animals suspected to have died of anthrax. In the nearly 2000s, there was a worldwide threat of using anthrax spores to kill people in what is termed as biological war. But guys, do not panic. These bacteria are treatable with antibiotics. Well, basically, antibiotics are substances that kill or inhibit disease-causing organisms. Do you know that certain bacteria are used to produce antibiotics? Streptomycin, an antibiotic used to treat tuberculosis in certain types of pneumonia, is made by Streptomyces cruseus. Other than that, Streptomyces venezuelae, on the other hand, produces chloramphenicol use in killing bacteria that cause typhoid fever and skin infections. Next, Escherichia coli is naturally found in the large intestine of humans. It feeds on partially digested food moving from the stomach to the small intestines. This bacteria, meanwhile, provides a much needed vitamin B12 that otherwise the human body cannot produce. E. coli, however, once present in other areas in the body, can produce poisons, causing diarrhea or kidney damage, and even death. Do you know that many of these bacteria are also involved in making some of the foods or the you like? Some bacteria convert cheap materials into useful products such as food. Examples are Lactobacillus bulgaricus and Streptococcus thermophiles of the lactic acid bacteria group. These are specifically involved in making sour milk or yogurt. Yogurt is made by adding a culture of Lactobacillus bulgaricus present in the starter to skimmed milk powder. Lactase in the bacteria changes the milk into sugar into lactic acid. When this occurs, protein in the milk curdle which gives yogurts its semi-liquid texture. Next, we will also talk about the gram stain, which is a staining method to differentiate bacteria. Gram negative refers to the inability to retain the deep violet dye, while gram positive refers to the ability to retain the deep violet Aside from the given bacterial diseases, there are also other examples. One of that are anthrax, botulism, Lyme disease, salmonella, tetanus, tooth decay, and tuberculosis. Thank you very much for watching. That will be all for today. We hope you all enjoy it. And we'll see you next time.